You're listening with Mark Hunter, where the focus is to help you as a salesman sell with confidence and integrity. And now here's your host. Hey, we all say we don't have enough time to prospect. So let me dig in and share with you five techniques, five things that you can do. And most of all, you know what? Doesn't require any special programs, any special software. It really doesn't even involve your CRM system. Think about that. This is what anybody can do. Number one, stay in a single vertical or industry. This is absolutely key. And here's why. When you stay in a single vertical, a single industry, you become an expert, you become more knowledgeable. And when you become more knowledgeable, it's amazing how much more confident you are in terms of the content and the conversations and the questions you can ask regarding uh, what's happening in the industry. And and this is going to play out huge because now your prospects are going to see you as one of them. If you're calling in and you're just this random caller, you're the third caller, your fifth caller. Hey, sorry, you don't win the prize. You got to be able to deliver. And by being confident, this is how you deliver because you're going to have more insight. And you know what this also does? This allows you to have really knowledge and content that you can respond to in whatever question you hear. So number one, stay in a single vertical or industry. And if you can't stay in a single, make it no more than two, okay? Number two, create value added content everyone will benefit from. Now, this is key because here's the whole thing. If all you're doing is calling and saying, hey, buy from me, buy from me, buy from me, nobody's going to buy from you. It's delivering 70 to 80% of your messages and your content needs to be about delivering value and 20% is the ask. Now, think about that for a moment. What this means is that you're delivering to them insights. So what I love doing is I create value added content. If you've listened to the podcast for a length of time, you know that I talk about what I call the 10 lists and these are 10 bullet points. And I do this all the time. I create these little 10 lists and I create them by industry. I create them by topic. And what does this mean? I now have one piece that I can send out to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 different prospects. And I literally have them in a library on my computer. So in other words, it allows me to very efficiently be able to send follow-up emails, to send prospecting emails. I do this all the time. And now what I can do is I can then take that value-added content and say it's a 10 list, you know, just 10 bullet points. I come back and now I can break it down and, and, and do a double down on each individual point. Now think about that for a moment. This is incredibly efficient and you're delivering value to the prospect. Number three, leverage social media. Now, I'm not saying to live in social media. I'm saying to leverage social media. What I mean by this, your reputation arrives before you do. Before anybody chooses to do business with you, they are going to Google you, right? And chances are, it's going to be your LinkedIn profile that's going to come up. So you better have a pretty good LinkedIn profile. You better better have engaged with people. Uh, Let me tell you something. I see people today, oh, oh, they got a thousand connections, two thousand. Big deal. That means they're not they're not a mover and a shaker. I want to see people who are posting content. I want to see people. And and again, this does not mean that you live in social media, but it means that you have a strategy of five or ten minutes a day, or at least five or ten minutes, two or three days a week, where you're posting content. You're, you're talking about other people. You're commenting on other posts. And again, leverage social media. I can leverage social media. Again, if I'm staying within a vertical specific industry, guess what? I'm laying content. I'm putting, I'm sharing content. For instance, my 10 list. And I'm watching it. Who's looking at my profile? Guess what? In the industry, guess what? I become a bigger thing in the industry. Again, by leveraging social media. Number four think less. Less is more. Now, what do I mean by this? This means that it's not about sending out 10,000 things. No, I'd rather have 20 prospects I'm dealing with, and I'm dealing with them on a regular basis. I'm right now working about 15 prospects that I'm very actively engaged with. And what I mean by I'm sending them out weekly messages. You see, I focus on the follow-up. I focus on the follow-up, and this is absolutely key. I, I, I've got multiple prospects that I, I, 
I've engaged with, I, I've sent messages to, whether it be a social media message, whether it be an email, whether it be a text or a voicemail, 10, 15 times, but I'm delivering them value. 80% of the time, I'm delivering them value. That eventually they respond and they turn into customers. And again, I'm able to take all of the same content because again, what am I doing? I'm using the same content over and over again in different ways. So think less. Less is more because it allows you to focus on the follow-up. Number five, leverage referrals. Hey, referrals are so overlooked. I can't stress this one enough. This is so easy. Now, here's the whole thing. To leverage referrals, it starts by giving referrals. It starts, I make it a goal every week to give three referrals. I give three referrals every week. And you know what happens? I get referrals back. And it's a tremendous way that I've been able to build my business. You see, referrals, why? Because now, people, oh, hey, I know I can trust that person. I know I can trust it. And here's what I found. The more I give referrals out, the more those people say, hey, you know what? Thank you, Mark. I, I did this the other day. I, I gave a referral to somebody and it worked out great. Worked out. It was so fast. It was unbelievable. He came back to me and said, hey, thank you, Mark. I want to help you. Let me, you tell me who I can help you with. And guess what? He's already sent me several referrals. Now, I, I don't give referrals with the expectation to get. I give referrals because I know it's the right thing. And boy, it makes me feel good. But you know what? You're also going to get referrals. Hey, what have I shared with you? I've shared with you five things that you can do right now to prospect more effectively. Hey, you've been listening to the Sales Hunter podcast. I want you to subscribe to the podcast. And please, would you leave me a review? Leave me a review on your favorite podcast app. Here's the deal. Each week you get two episodes, one a short one like this and one a longer one where we do a deep dive with a subject matter expert. Because my objective is to help you see and achieve what you didn't think was possible. Why? Because I want you to help others see and achieve what they didn't think was possible. When you do that, it's magical. And that's what sales is all about. Sales is about helping people. And we do that by influence and impact. Hey, I'm Mark Hunter, the Sales Hunter. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching the Sales Hunter podcast.